All right, guys, welcome in to Operation Reaper here on Squad Ops. Operation Reaper is a one life rescue mission on Fallujah at night. All these, all these nice uh, combinations of words, uh, some of which you may have never seen or heard before because you can't see me talking. Uh, there's a reason for that, but you know, um, things. Fallujah is a rescue op, so there, there is a U.S. officer somewhere in Fallujah who has been captured. He's been put into a cell, and INS are holding him against his will. He can't communicate with U.S., but U.S. have a fair idea of where he is. They don't quite know what to expect when they roll in, though. And that is what's going to be happening today. They're just going to roll in, get them, break them out. Uh, here's an overview of what that might look like. Based on the location of the... This is what it used to be on Samari. Why do we even have this map? Hold on. Was this in the document? I have an old version of the map. And of course, freaking, I can't right click save image in freaking. Uh, the, 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 I have the wrong version of the map. Alright, paste. Nope, can't copy and paste images from the freaking internet. That would be too dumb. Uh, hold on a second. Let me just grab this image here. Beep, beep. For some reason, it's, it's basically like what goes on in the Samari image here. Except for it's, uh, it's a bit different. Map. Yes. Okay. Now I just got to do a little bit of maintenance on the map here. And bada bing. Okay. So, the. Um, now we got a little bit better of an idea. The blue flags are where the U.S. Uh, can potentially spawn. Uh, not all spawns can be used for all rescue operations. Uh, INS are operating in the red area. The castle icons, the rooks, are the potential captain uh, holding locations. The there is like maybe one or two starting locations for us that are inactive depending on which uh, rook location um which castle tower <laughs> that is the uh, the the us uh, hostage is in uh for example the us hostage is in police station at delta 42 they can uh they cannot use the Delta 37 start position. Which is the train station. Uh, another example, if uh, hostages in mosque, all six locations can be used. Hostages in the government building in Echo 63. Uh, they cannot use the radio station at Fox 87. So there are some, uh, they can use up to three uh, locations. Uh, and uh, most locations have five starting positions. Looks like the common ones are gonna be the checkpoint, which is at Bravo 47, the underpass at Hotel 36, and the sewage return at India 77. That's where everyone is going to... Those are the common locations to start at. And there's a bunch of rules about... Um, 
how the how the, the hostage works. Standard rules for hostages, I think. They get a pistol if they're rescued. They can't use they can't use team communication, uh, the command net, until they have been rescued. And then if the hostage dies, they have to protect the VIP in that location so it becomes a defend position against an INS attack. Likewise, if the hostage is dead before the US could get there to rescue him, US must uh, assault secure the jail cell location where the uh, hostage has died. There is a barbed wire line blocking the cell and that's what's going to dictate what the... Uh... Let's see, we're spread up, aren't we? Yeah, we're gonna be spread out here. Uh, we don't even have uh, players joining in yet, so we got we got time to talk about the operation as it is. Uh, all right, so let me uh, let's talk about loadouts. I believe I have U.S. first, so we get to see Rangers. Uh, Rangers are a squad ops mod addition. Rangers have cool stuff. They have more stuff. They have better stuff. It's generally what the idea is. Uh, Ranger squads for US, one Ranger SL, two Ranger FTLs, three Ranger ARs, three Ranger rifles, one Ranger medic per squad. That's a set. That's a set squad there. Obviously nine people per squad, nine slots. No crazy Ranger AT today. Uh, they have four Humvees and one times UH-60. Obviously, if uh, they need to use the Humvees, they have to start a main. All vehicles will start in main. So that will limit their flexibility. Can't just move a vehicle to another starting location. They don't have that much time. They do have four times drones as uh, aerial support for the operation. Look at that INS. INS squads pretty straightforward here. They don't have a lot of resources or anything really, but they do have two FTLs. So uh, infantry squads, one times SL, two times FTL, one times medic. They have two ARs at the platoon level and they do have reaction cell the reaction cells will have vehicles uh, for this operation ins get to react to the hostage guards being attacked ins uh reaction cells will start at ins main i believe and then that's where they have to wait until the hostages uh, hostages attacked. So probably not going to have reaction forces. It depends. Two times um, transport techie, two times dish techie, pretty strong. Um, however, you're going to be mobile. There's no ET to worry about for this operation, but technicals don't really stand up to AR fire very well. 
and you do have to worry about that especially the ranger ars i think the reaction force is probably just going to be the dishkotekis um i don't think there's any advantage to rolling with the transport techie even one or two of them It's just my opinion. Probably getting uh, briefed via the command net. So why don't we do this? We've got a little bit of time here. I don't even think players have joined the server yet. Oh, maybe they have. Okay. Oh, players are joining right now. Uh, so this is Samaria at night. Don't adjust your screens. I do believe it's going to be relatively, uh, relatively fine once we get in close here. So I don't think it's going to be that big of a problem, visibility-wise. Unless we're talking about the outskirts of town. Um, but we do get to see the cell location. Guess what? It's Mosque. Uh, so let's head over there. You guys can see how bad my game is. Look at this draw distance. And here we go. Ross gonna be our actor today. And he's gonna be hiding out here in the alcove of the uh, the mosque on the southwest side. See some squad leads looking. Ross, you there? Oh, he's not there. Wait, what are they doing? Oh, they're building a hab. How are they going to get out of there? They can only get out one way. I guess this is a very meta hab for... Uh... But it's not though, because it's place wrong, right? Because like, freaking... It can't get out that way. Maybe unless you tried proning, but it's not... Yeah, it's just not placed. Yeah, they're gonna dig it down. <laughs> Ross, you there? Frost is not talking to me. I am depressed. That's what I get for trying to strike up some conversation. Dang on it. Makes me sad. We still have no idea what the uh, US plan is. I was gonna ask Frost what he thought, but uh, you know, I guess not. Um, here, let's go ahead and listen. Uh, we need a cool name. Uh, just call ourselves the whirlwind it's Operation Reaper. Think bonk. Yeah, you 
guys are good to get you guys spawned in as soon as you can. Uh, Inquisition, go ahead and get you the main. Alright, let's take a look here. So we have Lawn Darts in command with Raf, Inquis Inquisition, Phoenix, and Barry Boops. Frost is our VIP. Uh, looks like we are going to get a. Uh, we are going to get some vehicles here. Uh, we are not going to have a helicopter for this operation, but Inquisition going to probably run some Humvees. All right, we're gonna roll over to the uh, southeast side here and get on in this platoon brief. So we turn on the warp speed. And we turn off the warp speed. I see that they didn't get the uh, ranger scans thing fixed. Silencers. Thank you. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Someone's called him silencers already, so I'm triggered. How's this work if we can see where the hostage is? Aim shot, man. You still have to get there. And <laughs> we still have to survive. This guy's thing is, we have extraction. The entire city. Is the terrain fucked up for anyone else? No. Nope. Fine, fucked up. Uh, all of y'all are like halfway in the ground, and the squad leaders oh, are floating. Oh no! You might need Reconnect. to rejoin. Alright, all right, gather around, guys. We'll do a platoon brief. We'll give you maximum time with your uh, your squads. Actually, before we get stuck in the platoon brief, just a uh, announcement: we have a SOTT advanced course taking place uh, after this. Mission is concluded after the second round. If you're interested in doing the SOTT advanced course, it goes through the GL, AR, LAT, and how we suggest they're used in our One Life events. Uh, you can sign up on our website, squadops.gg. Uh, also, um, I oh yeah, look at that advertisement. Seeding the uh, Middle Eastern escalation. Yes, we're seeding ME after the uh, after session two as well. So keep an eye out for announcement on that, and uh, be great to see you guys there. But to be so welcome to Operation Reaper. Our mission is pretty straightforward. We have a uh, hostage that's been taken uh, from among our ranks and he's currently being jailed in Mosque. If you open your maps uh, due to uh, some amazing... Uh, he just said child? Uh, he should show up on your map. He's currently in Foxtrot 5 uh, in a jail cell. Jailed. Before we can get him out of there... Uh, we need... Lundard's accent sometimes. ...happens to be surrounding the place that he's held in. So anyone who's alive at that stage, make sure all the barbed wire dug down. Uh, and that's how we extract that particular hostage. Now, obviously, I've skipped ahead a little bit. Devil's in the details. So from live, we're going to move from here. We're going to have squad five on point. Squad two uh, trailing five west. And uh, two IC Phoenix is squad. Squad four will be east of five. We're going to be moving northwest, reasonable pace. Uh, we've got two roads to cross. The first road uh, is the one that I'm going to indicate with the helmet mark. Don't expect there to be uh, too much resistance through that point, but uh, there could be. So we need to make sure that uh, you know everyone's got their heads on a swivel and we good spacing, good formation as we move through there. Crossing the main road uh, up on the two helmets to be really key. Um, the terrain just prior to that is uh, a pond that has a lot of uh, reeds, so there's a lot of concealment, very little cover. There's high ground uh, on the helicopter mark. Uh, so what we're going to have there is one of the squads as we move up, depending on who's got the best positioning, best line of sight, is going to be a base of fire watching that helicopter mark, Golf 5, ready to suppress any and everything if any INS heads pop up. We'll then get the other two squads across the road. Um, they can then uh, get set suppress any enemy operations. Once we're across the MSR, which I think will be our first test uh, as a platoon, we're going to uh, then have SWAT 5 be our rear security as 2 and 4 continue to push west. I got it. Never mind. Uh, any vehicle restriction, movement restriction for the US? I don't see any in the dock. Hold on, I've just got some stuff in command net. <laughs> uh, I don't know where to go. 
translated. I don't know where to go. That location on the helicopter. We have that cleared out. Squad two and four are going to push towards uh, our objective. Oh, there aren't any movement restrictions. Two's going to be uh, pushing along the helmet marks that I'm placing on the map now. And four is going to be uh, on the north. There's no movement restrictions. BTR marks that I've placed on the map. Expect there to be a lot of contact. Uh, expect as you move through that contact uh, for the enemy to relocate, reposition their other forces. So make sure you get good 360. Once we get up... There's a look at the plan. Uh, it'll then be a case... Um, you know, just making sure you're listening out to your fire team leaders and your squad leaders for uh, specifics because, you know, things will change by, uh, by that stage. Once we rescue the hostage, we've got uh, a couple of exfil choices. At this stage, uh, it's likely to be the Hotel 3, which is marked with the FOB marker, or here at our start location. Uh, that'll be passed down uh, through the chain of command. Uh, possibly it might change to uh, the train station at Delta 3, but uh, at this stage I'm leaning towards exfilling either Hotel 3 or, or here. Any questions? Uh, will we be able to hear the high-value target as we get closer on local? I think you will be able to uh, reach out to him in local, um, ask him uh, for any intel at that, at that time. Uh, we don't uh, have any comms with him at the moment. The uh, radio equipment he had is damaged. So, yes, the only way to communicate with him will be uh, in local. Oh, one quick last thing. So once we do breach in there and start uh, rescuing uh, Frost, it's important that we all don't try and rescue him individually. So, um, you know, if you're not responsible for actually breaching his compound, then what you want to be doing is getting security around the... Um, Exterior perimeter of our mosque, and making sure that uh, you know any reinforcing enemy units don't uh, to shoot us all in the back while we're. Everyone's so keying up on the command net. I want to do that too. Um, all right. Well, that being said, guys, have a lot of fun this round. Uh, this is probably harder as the US team to uh, to do the assault. Be a little bit more chill next round when we're defending. But um, have fun with this. And um, squad leaders, let's get ready for life. Grab to put your knife away, please. Thank you. All right. Everyone, I think uh, Rangers are going to have going to be suppressed. Roger, truck. Uh, information ready to move out. Let me. I'm curious. Any last questions you have? Uh. So I do have a board that I have turned off for events. Over here. That I could use to play. All right, kit. We arm. While we're fighting the battle. I don't think they'll like that. Can I change kit? Not going to do that. No. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think so. I wasn't going yeah, to. This one. <laughs> unless unless someone out. like from ops explicitly said you can do this, was the only way I would do it. Here we go. Uh. No. Specialist rules. Here we go. Ranger rifleman. Yes, is suppressed. We have suppressed M4. With the red dot and the useless, uh, useless uh, IR laser. What else we get here as a rifleman? We get ranks. We get remotely. Is this timed? Then we also have detonator. So I guess we get remote explosives. And here's the detonator for it. Are we live? No, they're just getting ready to go. Uh, smoke grenade. Three bandages instead of two. We are high quality troops here. Uh, what does the AR get here? Uh... Here we go, uh, 249 with the pip and a regular dot scope. Oh, look at this high speed M17, classy. One grenade, nothing else, three bandages. And let's see, uh, Ranger Medic. I don't see Ranger team lead. Uh, no remote explosives. 
but they do get the colored smokes and all that jazz uh, support rolls I didn't do that all right but uh, yeah that's that's what we got okay Here's the, looks like we're using two M-Ramps. You know, I think technically Humvees was from a very old version of this operation. Uh, as you know, or may not know, we've been around for quite some years. Uh, this operation was created in 2018. And as you can tell, the um, <laughs> in uh, the middle of this year, during the summer, we recreated this op for Fallujah instead of Samari because why would we play Samari again? Except for I do like I do have fun on Samari. It is fun. No matter what they say, uh, we're probably going to be going back and forth here, so. Phoenix, do your guys in your squad know that they can take the AR uh, kits? Or I mean Ranger AR kits? Thank you. You're welcome. No, oh, Phoenix. Gonna... Need to yell at his guys. Uh, we'll take a look at INS positions here in a second. This guy's straight up AFK, aren't you? There we go. Yeah, but I was kind of stressed until it like, we put a lie. I got you, I got you, stress eater, stress eater. No one's judging you. Did you not take loud. your pre op shit? I did. Uh, no. Head up, I can take my pre op shit every time. It, it's it's kind of, it's starting to come. <laughs> <laughs> did you not what take it this time? Bro, I'm not no, gonna get on ground level with you guys ever again. I swear to God. <laughs> oh shit, Biko. Oh, let's let's keep it PG, ladies. PG, ladies. I don't really care, but I mean, yep, there we go. sometimes y'all talk about the dumbest shit. It's just for you. All right, and we're live. Moving fast. We're just gonna move for now um, until we get to the road. All right, so now with uh, US moving out, Copy, I'm two times M ramp, moving out from Maine. So I guess they're gonna go all the way around and probably come in from the north. Yep, that, that's what it looks like. There are a bunch of arrows. I don't even know what this, what the deal is. Looks like we have a patrol coming in from the west. That is the only other squad that I see. We got two, three squads on point here. I think Utopian is command, so he's by himself. So two squads defending close, one squad patrolling, one squad waiting to react, and they are using transports. We have two times they're using a transport to transport one person. Great. So they have two fire teams in uh two dish Kitekis, plus morgan with his own vehicle because of why not uh so that's going on yeah top of the spires on mosque we've got uh, at least one times and they already have visibility on mosque try and get you guys to move quickly yeah. because of course if mosque is being used Scottish is gonna sit up here with binoculars and look at US coming from a mile away. Because why wouldn't you? Look at this man. He's looking for ants on the horizon. And if he was looking southeast, he might see them. Joe, what's going on, my man? Uh, 
Teams crossing now, Bravo holding security. Roger, can for squad. Raf, do you copy? Oh, sorry, didn't hear you. Once you get uh, across this road, I want you getting a buddy pair, including an AR set up and ready to put fire on the mosque. Mineral. Unfortunate, Joe. Uh, work demands that I stream every Saturday morning operation um, or Saturday afternoon operation uh, with the minimal amount of sleep. So, I, uh, I bring this to you. Look at these dum-dums. Why did they leave Maine? They're not supposed to be reacting right now. Oh, shit. Command, break, foreheads, audio, and enemy technicals somewhere 150 meters to our uh, northeast. Bro, if they go all the way to the north, they're gonna get screwed up by these MRAPs. Alright, so Inus reacted for no reason. Very cool. Um Phoenix, are they coming at us or leaving? Uh, squad three break break uh, uh squad three to command. I've got three techies uh, coming my way. Oh yes, please kill them. Command moving away. Roger. Uh three, go ahead and engage them, put fire on them and then move. Oh yes, kill these. Punish these punish these violators. Punish them. Copy that form of it. Oh, they're engaging. And the tech is breaking off. Ramp ramp is 240 land. Oh. That's not good. My guys are calling out contact Foxtrot 592. Yes, we did take contact. All right. All right, let's fly over there and see what sort of damage has been done. No damage has been really done. So the react squad that um, blinked. Into the darkness uh, are gonna have to deal with uh, MRAPs that they aren't hitting at all. Minimal damage being done to vehicles. Um, that is less infantry for us to have to want to have to worry about. And we do have some shots going up into the uh, minarets. stuck in a uh, tower here of course that's where he wants to be wasting AR's uh, ammo red smoke Fly, let me know when you're set. interesting uh, squad 2 is moving away And it does look like the reaction force is holding their own. It's really up to them to disengage. Why would you not disengage as INS here? Uh, they are falling back right now to south to you. South, Roger. Command for squad four. Okay, you see that, uh, see this 
Why would you not disengage his INS there? I don't... I don't fancy trying to shoot 900 meters. This could be a death. You can get quite close up and look west from the top of these stairs. You can see all over Mosque. You are weapons free. You shoot traces, so don't stay there too long without ducking back into cover. I don't think you're going to be able to stand on those stairs and study that weapon. That's not going to work for you. Given that there is two squads defending Mosque. Oh no. Are you able to pursue that contact? Push Squad four vehicles is getting pushed by INS. They have no idea US are here. What? INS are rolling in. Uh, are they gonna dismount? So we need non security here as well, right? Technicals with same north. Contact west. And we have dismounts from covering roads at all to screen for them. Uh, we're working on doing it for both. All right, now it's a slog. All right, Roger. For whatever reason, reaction force is now engaged in defending the hostage. Well, they're at home. We'll see if we can deal with these guys in the Phoenix is not. Wait, what? And our attention on Moscow. Wait, what? Wait a second. Wait a second. Why is there an MRF down here? <gasps> oh. What? They're red? Oh. INS still an MRAP? Command for five. We're gonna have to get you across this road as immediately to my Oh no. Clearing vehicles due north of us. Oh no. Across this road on the west. Might have to use buddy pairs and smoke. Oh, they got out of it though. Okay, I'm I'm worried for the future of this operation. Ender goes down as U.S. forces begin to shoot. Grenade thrown. Smoke. That's a frag. That's a frag. That's a frag. Triple kill. Raph is gonna bleed out. Wow. Squally. Oh. <laughs> Chocolate Jack, uh, right, two's getting hit pretty hard at the now realizing sad times are upon him. Command, be advised. Two lead just went down. I'm taking charge. Roger. You can get your guys there just to hold the ground and dig in. And if you can let me know, I'm okay. going from range. Bro, look at Mantis. That's, that's some uh, impressive stuff right there. All right, so very bad for I, for US so far. Go ahead. Squad three needs to exist very shortly. Squad two has been cut in half. I want you to put pressure on the northeast corner of Mosque. That is uh, Fox five eight seven as quickly as you can. Inus have Inus's defenses have not been tested yet. This is not good. Uh, we can see USR starting to move. They finally got their guys across the uh, the Hotel India line. With your guys where they got killed from. 
or the golf hotel line. Okay, that's messed up. I am not completely sure if it's ours or if it's enemy. Do you able to push north and make back up with the remainder of your squad? Yeah. Why don't Why don't you abandon this push? Or better yet, why don't you run into a flanking INS force and die? Command wants us to move north. Uh, north yeah, and meet up with the squad. Right now, if we were to move directly north, it's like, or not, north, northwest. Oh, they don't see him. That's high that we can get eyes on. Yeah, we can, we can go there. We can make our way there. Did he see him? Oh. He has to see them. He has to see them. I see, I see this one squad, it's to our north. Alright, it was just four guys, so I didn't prepare to move. You sure about it? So far? I only saw three. I got enemies spotted, uh, Golf 527, that's south of the I think he's dead, so there's a squad lead down for INS. Which side of the road? Uh, Here comes Slicetron, they're gonna lead his fire team on in now as the acting SL. Or not, because his SL just got killed behind him. So they're gonna go take a peek here, and Bartok has an AR, and he's posted up. Or he was, and then he moved. What a weirdo. Why would... I guess it makes sense. Never mind, I'm not gonna question that. Alright. There is a bit of shooting going on up here, but n Silent is... Playing it fast and loose here. Uh, U.S. forces 20, 30 meters away. Don't know what to do against the stationary vehicle. Granted that uh, Silent will turn and swing on heads. But now that Silent is dismounted, there's problems for uh, for U.S. forces now. JPEP also is going to abandon his techie and he's going to roll down to Silent and catch up with him. Because Silent sitting by himself would be would be a waste of time. JPEP not spotted as he crosses the road. How amazing that Digi didn't see him even though he was looking straight at him. The brilliant, the brilliant maneuver. He's uh, behind the fence. Oh, he saw them. I'm inside this courtyard. Ooh, the Silent oh. might... Silent's got... Yeah, see just it. got seen. Do you have a suppressor? Ooh, JPEP takes down two. And then gets turned on by Kimchi. Yeah. Silent runs over, kills Kimchi. And Silent versus JKR. And JKR silent whiffs the throw. What is he shooting at? Or maybe it was Phoenix shooting at silent. Oh, they're coming up here. Digit. Nope. Digit's down. Is, if they're up on that roof, I'm gonna frag yep, it. I'm gonna frag I'm gonna it. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see if Vfan can throw this frag. Underhand, fuck. Oh. Uh, nope. That's unfortunate. Hit the staircase. U.S. force is also engaged with the INS's patrol. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Silent now has buddies. Captain Morgan Manus opposite roof. Phoenix is now up on a roof of his own. Whew, look at that. Look at that jumping. And he's gonna get shot in the side. Or Captain Morgan could miss every single. Oh. Efink goes down as he tries to watch Silent's door. 
Uh, Phoenix is stuck. Hang up on me. Contact in between us and five. Roger. Grunt is trying to climb the wall. And can't win a duel against Silent. That's gotta be four for him now. Yep, that's four. That's how he's posted up with me. Oh. Phoenix took a shot at Silent there. Yep. Yeah, he's on your roof south of you. He's got me pinned in this building. No, oh, maybe Silent. Maybe Phoenix didn't. No, Phoenix did. And here comes Silent. This could take down Phoenix. Phoenix is having to watch too many angles. Not good. Ooh, JKR takes out Morgan in return. Very cool. And there is a TK. Let's all say goodbye to that man as he'll never play here again. Frederick and Ch Chocolate Jack getting clapped by Clapacious. Potentially. Alpha Guido and uh, Apex here. What a shot by Apex 69er here. Oh, what a name. Bally just hey. gets murder hold. And he doesn't learn his lesson. And a rearward deployed smoke. As Silent gets another kill. <laughs> smoke deployed by Barry Boops as he is hurt. Barry's not bleeding out quite yet, although Dan DeHunt is gone below him. Still up for now. Squad 3 is uh, half strength and trying to push here. They've been inconsequential this entire match. Oh, JKR got silent. Oh, look at that. And we're starting to peek into getting the idea of doing things. Decided, nope, I'm gonna roll back to my squad. Mantis is stuck here by himself, though. But he gets a kill on Barry. One's down on my back. More Gorlami Sorry. is looking for Liberal. Sounds like one of them. And Lon and Lib are in communication, it looks like. Lib is still bleeding. He's waiting for a chance. Are you moving? He's gonna hit. Here we go. Lib versus Gorlami. Alright, Roger. You're picking out, by the way. No, he's gonna die. Well, I just checked your back, please. Lib not paying attention. Or, I guess Lib took the wrong angle and his rifle barrel did stick out a bit too much. Gorlami eats a grenade, though. Yep, that was Londarts' uh, grenade there, I, I imagine. That's what you get when you, uh... Bro, defensive mode was bad call. <laughs> Look at the, no, no defenses have been tested, except for now it looks like it's actually happening. How fast does this MRAP gunner get killed? Decal is shooting things. And everyone is hiding. At the mosque. But people that aren't on the mosque are not hiding. Money Man getting getting binked at his turret. Does Money Man return fire? No, everyone is hiding. They're playing this so well. These people don't even have cover on their roof. I mean, they barely have cover on their roof. They can't even see the uh, M ramp though. The Squad Three starting to take some uh, movement here. Smoke's being deployed. Looks like Inquisition has ordered the charge of a fire team into a three squad health objective at this point. Patrolling forces have starting to move in on the MRAP as the MRAP gunner does go down.
Uh, does Sam know what's going on? I don't know. Somehow these guys made it across. Grenade going off behind them. And as they spread out here, I imagine sad times ahead. Frost is so close to becoming rescued, but Mr. Cobain. Pressing R. Cobain, make sure you don't drop on your dead. Sorry, man, but I'm lucky. Oddball getting shot up from opposite roof and runs away. Only one bullet eaten in return. Yeah, I'm just killing him out. Hold fire. Hold oh, fire. We go eat. Oh, grenade. On me, on me. On you, on you. Thrown too far. Oh, yeah, make that distraction play. That's awesome, actually. Unless he's going to try to get in the turret and shoot these people. Which, yeah, he's gonna do it. Yeah, he got shot out of a turret. That was a predictable play, though. Yeah, Raph, spacing. What the heck, man? Uh, meanwhile, Squad 3, after being completely useless the entire round, has actually made it on the objective by sheer luck. Where? Fire team size force now engaging. Oh, the Inquisition is going to run up and get killed. Very cool. Fulcrum and Oddball. Oddball gets zinged from the tower. Scottish. Scottish should get some kills here. Uh, Fulcrum's going to try to throw a grenade to the opposite. Oh, he hit Dank Tank. Tank Tank. And eats a grenade in return. Inquisition's also down. It's just Basket of Puppies, who is now assuming the fetal position as US or INS have stolen the M ramp. And Killer J is just going to frag rush him to death, I think. DJ Russ also pushing. Oh, hey, look. Hedda and Bartok made it on foot. They're crossing the main street. Yeah, because that just is down the MSR. Oh, they're underground. There's a tunnel? And then we go... Right. Yeah. We just be turned right up here. Cool. Lawn darts and also Megna... Soldier are... Uh, dead. Bra moment as uh, U.S. command dies to contact to known contact. They're ten meters north. Very cool. Oh look, frost moved. That's nice. J.K.R. is uh, not gonna survive. Right here, no way, right here. Don't leave me! Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know INS has stolen the MRAP. And the single shot from Freestalker. Meanwhile, Bartok and Hedda. Alright, I can take point have used the uh, sewer system to their, their advantage. General, I mean, commanding officer. My friend, he's <laughs> riff rats, they're running through sewers. I mean, yeah, we'll, just, we'll just make our way to the wall. I guess. I guess. Okay. 
They're not gonna they're not gonna get in there. Honu has their number and Clamper's looking. The volume of fire is a problem. The grenade thrown. Overthrown. Uh, they should probably think about going another way, and Bartok does. Bartok gets a Ligar on top of the roof. Head is dead from the southwest. Here comes a grenade. Too far. Or, it was meant for a head, it looks like. Bartok just threw a grenade. And Bartok gets cut down by DJ Russ on the roof. And that should do it. That's GG. Uh, Highness barely tested. Some infiltrators getting through, but very, very rough for Ina for US that round. All right, we are going to take a short break. In the meanwhile. I'm going to recaffeinate and you guys are going to watch this video. Would help if I had audio tech on it. That was almost I did that community I almost did that correctly or swear her. Realistic event scenarios create a cinematic experience for players and spectators. God Ops is geared towards those who want to experience the rush and thrill of combat within planned operations with defined mission objectives and dynamic engagements. If you're looking for hardcore, tactical and cinematic gameplay, God Ops is perfect for you. Our missions and operations are usually streamed live on Twitch and archived to our YouTube channel. If you participate in our squad or armor events, head over to our website and Discord for details of how to join in the fun. Operation Reaper time. I don't know why I went back this early, but we did. Very cool. Uh, if you missed round one, uh, U.S. U.S. Um, U.S. That's all I have to say about that. Uh, in the meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and uh, hop in here. Take a look at what's going on. All of them. This is Operation Reaper. Did some work. I'm assuming it was silent. Uh, Reaper is a U.S. rescue of a cool guy who is stuck behind enemy lines, uh, as and he's been captured. And um, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try to get him. Uh, I think the capture point is up to is a randomly generated decision. And that's one of those things. Um, but uh, depending on which capture point is selected for the uh, the high value targets um, by the admin, US will have various uh, uh, various uh, starting positions. Vehicles will start at US main. That's the lower left hand icon on your map. Vehicles have to start from there. 
but U.S. can choose up to three starting locations for their uh, objective. You can see there marked on the map, the red rooks are the potential uh, INS holding uh, positions for that, uh, for that HVT. Uh, speaking of INS, um, they're rolling pretty simple. Two FTLs, one medic per squad, two ARs in the whole platoon. Uh, they do have a reaction force, which reacted to nothing last round and rolled out uh, two HVG, HMGs, two transports. Uh, so basically a squad size force can react with, with um, you know, vehicles. Um, Dishkotekis are pretty strong. They can do problem, they can be a problem for um, the MRAPs if they got caught in the wrong place. Uh, US on the other hand have Ranger kits and I don't know if you guys got a chance to see them around one but they're suppressed Morgan's talking to his guys right now okay. um, so while that's happening I'm gonna go shoot things ah Ranger team lead this is what I was looking for there we go look at that take a look at this suppressed M4 Whoa. Uh, suppressed M4 and we also have uh, one grenade we have the the swag M17 sidearm we also have um, some smoke markers and some handheld smokes three uh Bandages instead of two. It's important. And of course we have the zip zip. Very cool. I like this. With the red dot, it's pretty strong. Or at least has the cool factor. For sure. Anywho, let's go ahead and take a look at our map as we uh, get going here. Uh, Inus is still forming their defense, but it looks like we have a HVT hold point of police station. So let's go over there and take a look at that. It's gonna be very close to Maine. The action here is gonna be pretty fast, I think. Uh, with police station, they don't get to start a train station. So, that is a downside. Enemies can steal vehicles. That is correct, Joe. I think last round we literally had INS walk over to Maine and take a vehicle from US Maine. Um, so that's probably why that vehicle wasn't going to be part of the show uh, on deck. All on. right before uh, US started getting destroyed on their push. Oh, let's go talk to Frost real quick. Frost ain't doing anything right now. Frost, what are you doing right now? Do what, buddy? What are you doing right now? Trying to find the enemy. Right. So, what's your gut reaction to US failing so bad round one? Wait, say it again, I have to mute people. Oh, sorry. What's your gut reaction to U.S. failing so bad in round one? What did you see that made you okay, feel like... Right? I... I don't know. Uh, I feel like the teamwork was there, you know? I feel like the enemy was just too good. It is kind of funny. Towards the end, they, uh... They had a, um... They were pretty close there. Well, I mean, close. But, I mean, there's no way yeah. they're gonna shoot... Um, there was no way, like, four people were gonna shoot 10, 20 people. That wasn't happening. Yeah, right. And they're all on rooftops, so I think US have a better chance this time, but it all depends on their the approach they take. Well, have fun in your cell. That looks horrible. Yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, hey, at least it's only uh, one barbed wire thing of freedom. Right. All right, good luck. And we fly away. Let's take a look, see. Ina starting has, uh, looks like they have some forces starting a main. Two dish technicals, crude. Looks like bare bones crew. So they're gonna commit their entire force to here. We are seeing a obvious, well, I mean an obvious. Yes and no. This is what you expect to see. Hold on a sec. I guess it's what you expect to see. I had to pour some coffee for myself. I guess it's what you expect to see with what's going on. The, um... See, this is like a standard approach, I feel like. I think a more I think a more crazy approach would be to come this way. But this is still pretty strong. Elevation is a thing that comes into play here. And you do have this massive sideline. It's gonna be it's hard to argue with. Um I spent we'll take a look at it here. Uh, northeast. No, northwest. I'm dumb. Yeah, so I mean, you really can't argue with the the sight line that gets you that gets you your momentum. Words, the sight line that gets you your momentum, right? And this is what it is, basically, up until this truck. Uh, because you get a little bit more visibility on the uh, on the westbound side of the road here, but the problem is you really have to have eyes on both sides of the road to get there. You got to move up to this uh, to this sign to really have it. That's pretty. It's a pretty far ways up. Uh, considering their target and where they're going to go to get there, INS are going to deploy defenses to this location. It's a given. Too much mobility is here. They don't have mines. Uh, see, this is very interesting to me. So they have a squad. This is the patrol element, obviously. Squad size force. Can't start with the rest of the defense. Players spawn in, players are spawned in. I'm gonna get my cans on and we're gonna fly over to US Main and get ready for a brief. Yep, look at the timing there. It's happening right now. Players are getting kits. We can spawn at main. Could you do like squat arrows where everybody goes? I knew it. I fucking knew it. But open. Sorry, what? What what's squat apps? He's garbage. <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying. Anyway, wow, Scottish platoon brief. Um we got one more guy, but anyways, we'll do the platoon brief right now. So very good job last round. Everybody did well. I think that was a good GG. Um, this time we're gonna save our a good GG Ross. Um, we need to save him. The fuel extract point. If you check on your map, the helicopters markers are the extract point. Um, our primary one would be Bravo Four, Bravo Four Seven. Remember that. Um, the plan is very simple. We'll go north to the bridge. We'll go straight to the uh, what uh, to the east side. And we'll do a platoon push, uh, at basically to at Delta Four. We'll start. We'll probably start engaging at Charlie Four. Once we start open up and you know engaging the enemy, 
probably somewhere here. I will have one squad to flank around the north side. Um, the platoon will keep engaging the enemy, so we'll provide cover and distraction to the enemy. And the, that one squad will start hitting them in the back from the north side, basically. That's the plan. Um, and that's it. Any question? No questions? Good. Okay. Negative. Let's, do, let's fuck them up. Let's do it. Let's fuck them up. That's a straightforward plan. Get jelly sandwiches. <laughs> and the fuck did we get ice cream? Yes. Copy. So I want uh, Inky to take point. I'm very sort of sorry, Santa. At the uh, Bravo Four location. Probably that's that's probably safe. Yeah. Um, Inky, I want you to take oh, point. I want sort going. of uh, Captain to be the second one, seats? and then the. Uh, well, Silent. If you can hear me. Kick ass chop round one, man. What about the walkers? Thanks, bro. Bro, that was. Right time. Uh, absolutely. The gun, like, fucking wouldn't fire, too. Did anyone have that issue with click and it, like, didn't fire? Ooh. What were you using as INS? Do we get a transport? I don't want to be in the gun. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Yeah, it was dirty what you did to Phoenix. Bro. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real. I'm here now. Yeah, I mean, I kind of saw his foot, so I knew he was in there. Yeah. But I guess he was stick with your fire. Fire. He, couldn't, he couldn't get around. There was, there was the shock of, I think it was the collective shock of the entire U.S. platoon falling apart at that exact time, so. Anyway, good luck. I love doing this shit. All right, so one uh, one MRAP per squad was the call that I heard. I see someone drawing a command star on a bridge not being used. I sense shenanigans inbound. Oh, we're live, live, live for round two, two, two. Everyone running, running, running. I, I was like, uh, for the, no, it's all good. Don't worry. For the shot. Thing. They want us to get on top of the Humvee. Yeah, like, I know the Screw that, I'm walking. That is a voice right there. He's walking. Bye, Commander. Wait for me, Hunter. Thank you. I think there's a little of a uh, little bit of hurry up and wait fatigue going on right now. But hey, what MRAP got out? Are the MRAPs holding at the helicopter or the dismount point? They hold the dismount point. They're gonna get shot at. Actually, they're not going to. They're gonna get spotted, but they're not gonna get shot at. It looks like. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Reaction forces are reacting. Well, both. Depending on which Questionable. Uh, six, you're gonna keep the MRAP for extraction. Yeah, why wouldn't he? If you want me to, sure. Alright, I'm gonna drive my MRAPs to the northern side then. Um, squad six, squad three, could you guys hold at around like the C54 area? And wait for the MRAP. Why do they have to wait for the MRAP? They're slower than the MRAP. EA, just to confirm, we do not have any uh, UAV, correct? Correct. All right. So, INS are holding in position right now. Uh, INS looks like they can't move out of the defensive zone. I believe that's part of the rule. They have a patrol force. The patrol force is also not moving out of its starting area. Uh, do they know it's live? Patrol is not patrolling. All right, Brad, push up to where squad six is. Let's push up to where the infantry marker is. Um, Morgan and 
killer just you know stand by INS are looking they might have a beat on this uh, infantry force but I don't know how much they're gonna be able to respond to it this is pretty weak on the west side here I'm not gonna lie vehicles are moved to the north road they're not really um, part of the fight yet until they get onto this road at the Echo Fox line here. Once they cross that, they'll be on the main road and they have a straight shot, but Dishka's against MRAPs, and I think some of these MRAPs have 50 cals. Shots are being fired now, though. The Phoenix taking aim. I think he's trying to provide Tracer fire? I don't see tracers. Mosque. Copy. That's wrong. In case since you're the northern squad, um, when we Unless they're calling the this the mosque. I want you to be the flanking squad. The tower is uh not accessible. This one's not accessible, I and mean, it doesn't look like. Position, go ahead and make the call and start the platoon push. Copy. And I think Hanu is leading part of squad for squad two. So the composition here, INS is moving up on the north. The composition here too is spearheading the north, the center, the center force here. Six is split up in half to support squad three. Squad three is mainly down here, it looks like. Squad four is also on the north flank. And speaking of the north flank, we have a two vehicle formation moving up on the north road. And no one hears it. Ideally around maybe, if you can head to D492, that would be ideal. Uh, if not, D492, uh, where is and stand by for a flank. Uh, platoon go They're ahead. turning down. Oh, they're going to get whacked in the back. Squad 4 definitely knows they're there. I think if you want. Get your MRAP to fill in between you and the northern element to have more firepower. So, Char. Copy that. Oh, look at this. Do they see the MRAP? Yes, they do. Why are they still moving? Are they just going to engage the MRAP on the move here? Oh. Bring around the road. <laughs> <laughs> Dishka has perforated one MRAP. Oh, look at this guy. That is baller. He's just rolling. Flame Mage gonna try to take some shots at Viper on the way back. And looks like he's gonna survive. That's tremendous. What a hit and run on the first MRAP there. Second MRAP. Looks like it went off road. Wow. Uh, looks like we have uh, Happy Clamper and Hanu get out of that MRAP. Two times Dishk is inside compound. Break. Approximately 8421. 8D5. Check out run and Smoodle. Smoodle. Uh, able to reinforce the defensive zone here. AR is trying to return fire. Uh, US? Uh, I think it's hard to say that US is not in a better position. Uh, I would say that, but Squad 4 is rolling through the refugee camp. Oh, they've rolled too far ahead. We've got direct oh, I see their in. I see their round of ingress here, but they're committing to it. I'm gonna recommend that we swing further south. Technicals are patrolling, and Squad Two is also starting to sweep, and looks like they're gonna come up the uh, south road here. Squad Four, start 
check now. And I think these tentacles, if they stay stationary, are gonna cause some serious damage to US pushing along the main road. Radibus got tagged by one of those rounds. Copy. They need more smokes. Uh, US is starting to shoot at them, I think. From the, the US flanking squad, I think, is starting to shoot at them. Uh, Brandon, Brandon Six is... Gonna whiff a few shots, but take out Bouchik and outrun. Piper turns around and isn't able to find Brandon in the bush. Bush is giving him some concealment. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Is that Dishka or Kushka? It's Dishka. There goes Viper, and there goes Perry. <laughs> well, you can't uh, be lucky twice when you drive completely straight through the uh, U.S. position. That was one dish get down. Did the second one get away? No, it did not. Schmoodle abandoned it as his gunner is gone. And he's going to join the defense on foot. It was effective. I think the Dishkas earned their own that round. Disabling one MRAP, uh, decrewing it, getting multiple kills, causing some chaos, delaying the US action so that the uh, uh, patrol squad can get a position. I, I think this is uh, really good. These guys got in without being observed. Thank you. And here comes the multifaceted attack now. Uh, U.S. attacking from the west and also south to north. Russian U.S. 50 cals have different sounds. I don't think so. Maybe if you were actually like on the gun. I think there's some. I think the distance plays a factor into how the sounds are emulated in the game. Florida gets destroyed by Oddball. Maybe Sam there. Oddball. Oddball throws a grenade. Oddball throws a bit too far. More grenades being thrown. That was someone over here. Brandon walks into uh, Hex Cobain and does not survive. The distraction plays real. US from south to north have a lot less resistance to deal with, but the uh, feint is going to have serious problems as they get engaged, surely. They're gonna get pinched from their southwest. Squad four, zero. Squad four making progress in the north. Yeah, slowing, slowly at the Spitfire goes down. They were just right here shooting the LMG, weren't they? They're in the, they're in the buildings north of you. I killed the guy left. Oh, this is squad three. I'm disoriented. Squad four in the north here. Building to building here. It looks like they're trying to get around the outside, oddball's backside, and there goes Roman. Gets a great shot on oddball. Oddball just stuck. Not stuck, but I mean, probably felt stuck. Four needs. Look at this is a three way attack here, and it's working! Seven to nine. Ines still have the advantage, but uh, make that 11 to nine. 10 to nine. Or, 10 to se or 7 to 10. Two more die down here on the uh, 
Western attempt, Western approach. They're just trying to peck at anything on the edge here. Meanwhile, I think U.S. got discovered in the south. In the north, the uh, Squad 4 is pretty much no longer an organized element. I saw Inky go down. Roman's trying to get a bead on Sam. Inquisition is holding this position really well. Wow, Morgan's gonna go all the way around. Um, Cap, I, if possible, I want your fire team to move in uh, to the north side compound, right across from West uh, Frost's. And we're working on that. Um, the biggest issue right now is that they have two ARs directly north of them that they cannot, they, they can't get angles on. Um, they, they're actually kind of pinned in that building right now between the two ARs and two riflemen that are firing at them from the police station. Let's see, uptown, where's the other AR? There's the other AR. There's only two ARs for INS. Uh, Summers has one and JKR has the other. Oh no, not JKR. Uh, Uptown has the other. Squad 2 is about ready to uh, cause some problems here on the west side. Coops goes down as they push the hill. Coops went down. Judgmental Joe. Joe getting spotted, his barrel is longer than he thinks it is. Uh, but the INS patrol is about ready to walk into the backside. Oh, they've stolen the MRAP. Uh, Happy Clamper's about to have his head taken off. And this is, I think this is a 50 cal MRAP. Redibus goes down as he tries to push in. I think Honu is also dead. No, nope, Honu's not dead. Freestalker goes down. INS have stolen an MRAP. And Cap Morgan. Bruh, are these guys even looking in that direction? I want to know. Hold on a second. Oh yeah, Money Man and Basket of Puppies. Two guys have a fire team pinned. Impressive. Repeat last for two. Getting flanked Where are you? Behind. Someone might be in our MRAP. What can Glamper do? Uh, Scaldish. Uh, also, are you guys doing AJ? Uh, Happy Glamper can run around a corner and get completely schwacked. That's what he can do. Honu's now by himself. Well, Manzir and Sherman are still up. No, Manzir's not up anymore. Kimchi gets taken out, though, by uh, Sherman. Here's the angle on that shot. Squad 3 now starting to move in. They have cover. They can move directly to the compound adjacent to Frost. This is good progress, but, uh... Bartok walks up on Scottish. I think Scottish is AFK. Bartok trying... So Scottish is active in the vehicle. Um, Scottish, I want you to rotate to Cap. Bartok is riding. I've got Bartok. <laughs> this guy is just came into my MRAP. He's called himself Bartok. And uh, he just, just wants to. <laughs> Would you be able to move? What? Chance of securing the uh, hostage. Go to 
Okay, that's that's hilarious. I guess as long as Bartok stays in the vehicle, he's fine. I don't think this has happened before. Bro, what if they te- Oh, there we go. That's hilarious. Alright, we're gonna leave that for a second, uh, cause, uh, US have made progress here. I think they're within local range. We got Cap Morgan and his squad. I think they're within local range of Frost. Frost, they're pretty close though. Grenades going out. Those are U.S. grenades. All right, hold on. I gotta go back to the. I gotta go back to this. Silent just got killed by Bart talking the gun. <laughs> Bart talk just drive. Scottish just drive away. Scottish is literally complicit in the deaths of his comrades at this point. And Bartok just gets into the passenger seat. Contract, good, contract. Sweet. Yep, get some hard cover. Oh, look at this. The other MRAP is uh, moving. Scottish, is he dead or no? No, he's not dead. He's just. Meanwhile, looks like Morgan, J Pep, and Gorlami are going to cross the street here. This is a nice way to cross. There's no rooftop, uh, rooftop INS over here. <laughs> Bartok should realize that uh, he could just drive the MRAP away at this point. Clap just got destroyed. Oh, Bartok's just gonna run in. Oh, Ender, what? That was another Bartok just ran past. Too much. Bartok gets one, gets shot, and looks like Ender can't hit uh, Bartok to save his life. Ender goes down. Scottish. Wow. That was an impressive uh, series of events there. Alright, so that's done. Um, all right. Sherman, Utopian are still up, and Gorlami, J Pep are up. Oh, there goes Utopian. Are you okay? All right, Sherman, what are you going to do now? Your buddy is dead. Dead. Some massive bra moments happening this round. I wonder if it's more successful, if you can consider it's more successful than round one at this point. Judgmental Joe takes shots at Gorlami and JPEP as they cross. And Gorlami gets shot in the back. Schmoodle. Last man here as J Pep walks in. Uh, Schmoodle. Gets headshot by J Pep. Great shot there. As Hedda circles for JPEP. JPEP's gonna make a run for it. 
and gets gunned down by Phoenix through the murder hole. And that's going to be GG for a Reaper. Frost. Not possibly. Oh, Sherman's still up. Uh, Sherman getting clown card and he's gone. So that's GG. Tremendous. Tremendous. Tremendous round. All right. And with that being said, that is our operation today. Uh, let's take a look at what we've got coming up on the calendar. We have a advanced today. Uh, I think we are seeding our MEE server right after this operation. So if you want to play some squad with some of the guys, head on over to our MEE server. I believe it's in the custom browser. Uh, the mod is pretty fun. It's definitely a good take on traditional squad gameplay. Um, we have FTL SOT tomorrow, um, which requires advance to get into, mainly to help people in the community that want to step up to leadership or know what to do when they get there to uh, get in there. Uh, we have uh, Cesar Patagorsk, which is an armor co-op mission in the main 2107 mod set that happens tomorrow at session two time. Next Wednesday, Wild Turkeys, I will be there. I think I might actually play this one. Uh, commentary, slot is empty. I might try to join this. Um, we will see what happens between now and then. Uh, and then next Saturday we have a operation coming soon for session one. And we also have a basic next Saturday uh, in the uh, midday, uh, 17.30 Eastern time for that basic. Uh, no basic required for either of the operations coming up on the calendar. But if you want to get uh, a lay on what's coming up in the future, uh, you know, uh, squadops.gg for your process to begin. And the calendar is also there. All of our events are listed on that calendar. Join the Discord, discord.gg slash squadops. Get connected with the community, play with us. We got all sorts of games running all the time. Our community calendar on the Discord is actually working and is a thing. So, uh, oh yeah. And that's gonna do it for me. I'm B Car. I will see you guys. Later.